Hello, Gemini, getting ready to do your reading. All right, let's see what is going on for you. What is the overall energy for Gemini, Sun, Moon? Okay, it came out. I'm sorry if it moves. Okay, 10 of coins, overall energy. How is somebody feeling? We have the six of wands. He might be in reverse. He came out that way, so I'm going to leave him. How they may view you or the situation. Okay, three of swords. What you don't see or don't know. The three of coins and what is the potential outcome at this time six of coins okay someone may want to heal your heart or give something to you it's interesting under the deck is the three of wands something is on the horizon so it's like almost like somebody okay this feels like this could be someone who cares deeply about you gemini who wants to come in and give you something because they are doing very well but because maybe you're sad or you're not in their life they don't feel victorious with the six of wands what you don't see is that they want to work on this work things out wow under the deck, look at five of coins. So it's like someone who has it all. They have money, you know, and, you know people around them, but they feel lonely. They, they feel empty. Maybe they miss you. Maybe they know you are hurting. Okay, what is the ten of coins? What is the ten of coins? Eight of wands, high priestess, and the nine of wands. Yeah, this could be anyone because ten of coins can represent family and friends, coworkers, exes, the person you're with. There's communication coming in, and you might be the nine of wands, and he looks a little irritated, right? So, and he's looking over at that, you know, the messages coming in, and it's almost like you might not want to hear them for some reason, possibly. But again, this is someone who's not giving up on you or not giving up on the situation. This could be a mother figure because the high priestess is there. You may be getting messages or information third party, like or third hand from like your family or somebody also. So keep that in mind. But the six of wands, okay, they're telling me, yes, you could be hearing about someone you know, but you're being told by somebody else. So of course you might see something online and it's on someone else's, you know, post. Or your friend is telling you about an ex. Something along that line could also be how they're coming in the messages, but it could also be coming straight from this person. So it's going to vary. But the six of wands is how someone is feeling and it came out in reverse. So someone is not feeling so victorious, right? Ten of swords, six of wands up, right? Right. Wheel of fortune and the nine of coins. Okay. Someone has overcome something with ten of swords, six of wands. They've been victorious. They've healed. They've moved forward. Things are good, but they might not really feel like that on the inside or they, you know, they could be missing you. What is the three of swords? What is the three of swords? The knight of coins, justice, and the king of cups. Look what's under the deck with that. So it's very specific. Whoever this person is really loves you, Gemini. They really care about you. It could be a water sign, an earth sign. We have a Libra right there. But they they may be heartbroken because maybe you're not doing well or they may see you as heartbroken. Now, again, you might not be heart heartbroken. That can be the energy of how they view you. It doesn't mean you are. But I'm just definitely getting someone who still cares a lot about you, cares about the situation. Um, now, what you don't see is the three of coins. So what is this three of coins? The full energy, the seven of swords, and the page of coin. This can be someone who's dating somebody else right now, or someone like you're dating someone else. Three of coins could be a three people it's not cheating it's not third party because i don't think you're with with this person but full the seven of swords the page of coin i kind of get okay i'm getting very specifically there is a person who you are not with who has moved on from you or you moved on from them who still thinks about you and who is probably with someone else probably even married to someone else who still thinks about you and um, i feel like the nine of coins could be you like you endured heartbreak you overcame it and now you're in a very good place whether you're dating or not I don't always read the nine of coins as single she could be in a relationship to me and just be really really happy with her surroundings her backyard what's going on in her life she's abundant right I feel like somebody feels like they need to apologize get something off their chest with nine of coins justice but like someone is holding on to a lot of guilt so I could see why the nine of wands where you might feel kind of like overwhelmed this week by someone who's coming back around to tell you something and again, I guess it might be some gossip, so keep that in mind too. But as somebody on the outside who looks like they don't care, but on the inside they still reminisce, because this deck, this picture reminds me of someone who's looking at a picture of another person, who's reminiscing, who's looking at the past, looking at messages. Even when they're with someone else, they're with other people, they're surrounded by other people, but they think about you. 
they reminisce about you. They are maybe in a marriage and they're not happy and they wish they were with you. They may see you as being single and happy if you are right now and they're not happy. I, I'm just, the, the message probably won't resonate with a lot of you, but I'm definitely seeing what it's saying in the reading. So the six of coin tells me they want to come in and give you something, whether it's taking you out, giving you a gift, you know, going out for a drink, whatever. Six of coins. Yeah. This person is contemplating what to do, five of wands, holding back, and they're watching you. Something new has started in their life. So it tells me that they've started a new cycle in some way. So something has changed for them. And sometimes it's just the seasons or the energy or, it's, you know, someone just had a birthday or something. Something triggered this. So they're thinking about you right now and they are wanting to communicate and possibly take you out, you know, for coffee or for a drink. And what is this King of Cups, this person, whether it's a man or a woman, they're, they could be a Pisces specifically. They could be very emotional though right now. This person is being triggered. So you're, you're told to do nothing, to take no action. You don't really have to take action. But you may be thinking about this person from time to time. Two of coins, eight of swords. Okay, this may be someone who still comes comes to my ace. Lots of swords under here. Could be another air sign like yourself. But um, interesting. Okay, why the nine of wands? Why do you feel kind of, yeah. Again, I'm getting messages, communication coming in. Could be from specifically this person or it could be other people. But it's kind of, I, feel, I just feel like you're irritated. I'm seeing you being like irritated by people talking about this. Well, look where I slipped the deck. Page of cups, two of cups. Why the page of coin? down here yeah I'm telling you this person thinks about you they look at your pictures and they they get excited or turned on or like happy ace of wands they there's passion here there's you know and I get definitely they're in a, they're married or they're in a relationship with someone else or you know they could be doing this while they're at their work what is the page of swords this is coming in it's on the horizon Wow. Okay. Well, maybe this is going to be a good thing. Maybe you like this person, this King of Swords, this Leo. I mean, they could be any sign here. Okay. Let me see what this person wants to say to you, Gemini. I am becoming a better person. So this person may feel guilty. I'm seeing this here at the Knight of Coins in Justice. Like they feel like they need to get something off their chest. They need to get something right. They need to make it right. What else? I left you before you could leave me. So does that make sense for some of you? Now, maybe it was you that left them, so take it as a resident, but someone, yeah, may have bolted before they got left behind, before they got hurt. You came closer than anyone, and I wish I could take back my words. Someone's saying, I know I messed everything up. So let me go to this deck and see what is the overarching, what is the message, or what, you, what do you need to know? Intuition, you already know the answer you seek regarding this person. Healing, old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. And one more, please. We have different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision and you are protected. So again, this card does not surprise me because this is someone who could be coming back and you just don't care. You don't want another chance with this person. You don't want to talk to this person. Others of you, you might, you might be interested because you do have the suns. So unless it's a Leo or something, you know, it could be someone who makes you really happy, but I do feel like this person will apologize with what I'm seeing here. So that might be the karma or that may be what this reading is about. That might make you really happy to know that. You could even get a gift. I'm getting a picture of a gift. So they might send you something with, and write you a note or something along that line as opposed to reaching out to you and asking you out. Um, but I just kind of get this feeling of someone is reminiscing about the good times you had. So know that too, Gemini. Someone enjoyed being with you. Okay, let me see. What do you need to know about this connection, this person? Sunglasses, wow, watching, looking, stalking. So this person definitely, is, so they're focused on you right now. They're watching you. They might be in the same you know, building or in the na neighborhood, or if not, of course, it's probably just online. But this person is, yeah, with both of these coming out right now, as we speak, watching, spying on you, soulmate. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract, and like I said, coffee cup. This person wants to take you out with the six of coins. That is my... Let's go get coffee. Let me buy you a drink card. So expect communication. I think the different pa the pages would be up to you. If you have no intention to get back together with this person or something, that would be the different pages. Otherwise, some of you, 
You're telling me the healing is the main point, though, the healing that you will have or have received. All right. Oh, yeah, look, it's under here also. The six of coins. Yep, an offer. Might be a Capricorn. Okay, they might think, oh, they might be very attracted to you. We had that Ace of Wands, right? But I think it's more than just sex. It's more than just like hooking up or something like that. But that might have been also what they're thinking about at work or wherever they're at also. I feel like it's more, I think the reading goes deeper than the, just the physical connection. So Gemini, I'm going to leave it here. Have a fantastic week, you guys, and I will talk to you soon.